Best away was probably Leffering. He gets up quickly to the shoulder of Antonino. McKenna now the 100 metre champ, and they're getting chased down by De Bruin. De Bruin, the national finalist, over 200 leads him into the straight. Henry, the tall Geelong grammar boy, the one that's chasing him down. Leffering holding on on McKenna. McKenna coming back, it's gonna be Leffering throwing the line. Leffering out tips De Bruin on the line. I'm gonna give it to Leffering. I think Leffering may have out tipped De Bruin on the line. Henry threw late, so did McKenna. We'll wait for the result there, but Lefferink led early. It's going to be a close one, but I'm going to call Aaron Lefferink just from De Bruin. And it is a clear win then. Aaron Lefferink on the line, taking him on the top of De Bruin. And we are away cleanly, and it was even it possibly the 400 metre man in Smith who's got the best of them. So the 400 metre man's got a flyer on the bend. Holmes is also with him. So your 400 metre running, your 400 metre hurdler will lead him into the straight. Portelli on the inside looks strong, but now it's all Melvin Monlay, the big striding Wesley lad. He'll take victory. Melvin Monlay, Portelli, and Smith will dip. Smith may have out dipped Portelli on the line with a fast finishing Andrew Howe between them. But Melvin Monlay gave them a couple of metres off the bend. He had to chase them hard. Cooper Smith then and Portelli lunged at the line. It'll be tough for that second place. But certainly a victor, undoubted on that one. That is Melvin Monlay. He takes the 100, 200, under 17 sprint double.